We are learning new information in a case involving a prominent St. Paul attorney accused of hitting and killing a jogger in February. A search warrant filed in Ramsey County reveals a man behind the wheel was involved in another car crash just minutes before the fatal crash. Documents also show data on Peter Berge's cell phone was actively being used when he hit and killed 35-year-old Scott Spoo, who was running on Mississippi River Boulevard. Toxicology reports show that Berge was not under the influence of any illegal drugs or alcohol during the time of that fatal crash. Mary McGuire got a look at these documents and joins us now. Mary, what else do the documents reveal? Well, the search warrant describes Berge as a very active Facebook user with multiple public posts and mobile check-ins. It also shows an active data session for 23 minutes, including the exact time that jogger was hit and killed. Now, according to the search warrant, Berge was involved in another crash just a little bit before hitting and killing 35-year-old Scott Spoo. On February 28th, a woman told the St. Paul police her car was hit in Minneapolis on 6th Street while she was waiting to get on eastbound 94. The woman allegedly had to get Berge's attention because he didn't realize that he had hit her. They later pulled over to exchange insurance information. These new developments are heartbreaking for those who knew Spoo, who hope that this serves as an important reminder to keep phones off while driving. We know from statistics that it only takes a second uh, of your attention to uh, be distracted and miss something important and miss someone's life. So whatever um, you, know, you need to like on Facebook or whatever uh, you need to talk to your friend, it can wait. Now, after the crash, Berge continued to use his phone while he was in a police squad car. According to the search warrant, an officer eventually had to take the phone away from him when they realized that it could be an important part of the investigation. Berge's friend Mike Salovic insists his impaired behavior during the time of the crash was caused by a stage four brain cancer diagnosis. Berge is currently in his fourth week of standard chemo and radiation therapy. Now, just because Berge's phone was using data during the time of that crash doesn't necessarily necessarily mean that he was using Facebook or texting. It only means that his phone was actively using data. A separate search warrant with the company Facebook has been filed by authorities in St. Paul to determine if Berge was posting or commenting on social media during that fatal crash. Berge has not been charged in this case yet. Okay, a lot of new developments in this story. Mary, thank you.